Hey guys, welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Last episode, we figured out how to get a whole bunch of blueprints, which we're now at 90. I guess we might as well start the episode off with um, spending all these blueprints. So we have Alchemy Workbench, which I'm not too worried about. This looks cool. It's a perk. So I don't know if you can only have like one perk at a time, but that'd be uh, interesting if you can or can't. You know how to work with meat. You have less chance of making a surgical perk. Sounds actually really good, but I'm not too bothered about it. Um, a double pallet, which would be pretty cool. We only have one body at a time anyway, and the bodies always go um, rotten, so I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, this looks pretty cool. What's this? So we need 20. We don't have 20, so there's no point worrying about it just yet, I don't think. And what does it actually do? All deceased are welcome in your graveyard. Money is increased. Faith is increased. I don't actually see the point of that. Um, okay, let's just have a look. At, wait, is there anything else to here? I guess we should have a look at this. What is this? A church workbench. That's why we have that. Is it downstairs? Because we needed it for something. I think it was this. This liquid can be applied to a body on the table to modify its characteristics. Um, well, minus is a red and a white. I don't get that. This one increases a red and a white. If I don't really understand why I'd want to do that. This one increases a white straight up. I don't know how you'd make these though. Then we have this. Actually, I wouldn't mind working on pages today. I'm not even going to lie. We need flies for a quest. So I think we should get this. And it doesn't need any green. And green is what like, we're kind of struggling with. And then this also increases um, commercial blessing, which increases uh, vendors' reputation. So I guess we should also figure out how to craft this. Craft at desk. I don't know what desk they're referring to. It appears desk. I guess we must have some kind of desk. And we have a confessional, which actually sounds pretty cool. A wooden shrine, a wooden church shrine. And then this one, based on a couple of stories from youth, increases money, faith. So why is this one so different from this one? This one increases money by 20%. This is 10. Ceremony faith, 50 to 150. But this one's better in every situation, isn't it? A number, your flock will reduce more faith. I have no idea, like, what, why anyone would ever go for this one. Ceremony faith. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get that. I'll get it anyway, though, because I wouldn't mind crafting a confessional. I think maybe it'll increase uh, my church, which would be great. We have two more here. Needed to guarantee excess ceremony. Um, you can count extra donations. Is this not the same as well? I think this is just more, a lot more money. That's a lot more money. And we do need money. Ceremony faith. Um, I, I want the faith day. I think I need faith more than money. Still need money, like a lot of money. And extra faith. A lot of money. Oh, this one definitely looks good. Look, this is 50 more money. Which is like so much more. Same amount of faith. Um, yeah. It's just better in every way. And it also comes with this. The church is not only trying for the spirit, it's also a number of buildings and properties. You've learned how to manage them, so ceremonies give you extra money. So definitely, we definitely have to go with that. So, I don't know how... Do we have to activate perks, or do we just get them? I wouldn't mind this as well. Place of burning bodies. I think we just buy everything to a nest. Um, Alright, let's just buy that. Is there anything, anything the green one actually needs? But I think I'm just going to get overwhelmed to a nest. A candle, which is the church workbench. Did we get the church workbench? Wait, didn't I just see it? There's somewhere here, wasn't it? Um, I swear I just saw the church workbench. I'm going crazy. It's here. Okay, I think we have to get the church workbench then. I oh, know, but no, we have the church workbench. Oh, I'm so lost. No, we definitely don't. Okay, let's get this right one. I do want the right one as well. And then I also want the story one. And then that's pretty much it for now. So we need to... Oh, so this unlocks the basic desk. Oh, there. I'm lost. I think I, I just <laughs> I just purchased way too much stuff. Did we buy the desk here? Buy the desk? Craft the desk? No, it's probably going to be in the church. So I guess we have to go look at that. Um, it's also the green day, which I believe is snake's day, right? So we should go... I think it's under, we should go under the house, right, to get to um, Snake. 
because we do also have his new key, which should continue his quest. Um, is it under here? I think it's through here, all the way around to the left. So there's so much to do. Looks like a desk we definitely need, as well as a church workbench. Um, but church workbench, did we actually end up crafting that? I don't think we did, did we? Oh, I've lost it again. No, we didn't. Now we need blue and green. Okay. Given the key. Here's the key. A free story. How nice. I do want to fix this one, because then we can just keep walking back and forth. At last, one step closer. Okay, you go first. They'll see who's worthless. I'll wipe these smug look on their faces. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about all of them. Everybody who lives in this cursed town and everybody who thinks they're better than me. Just because I just because they have everything and I have nothing. But soon I'll have everything. Hopefully this actually gives us something pretty cool. Looks like a new workbench and a prison. Whatever. Oh, I think I see what I'm looking for. Oh, so that's the diary that the astrologer wanted. So that'd be nice to give it to him. Oh, and I have hide yeah. oh is that meant to happen that's my first f oh what just happened it seems like i'm alive and back home under the circumstances i'm not sure that's good news i need to go back and get that diary okay that was not <laughs> okay that, that that's actually quite sad you know zero death playthrough but i guess i was forced into a death which isn't great um but breaking open those rocks shouldn't be that hard we just need a support beam or something which I haven't unlocked yet, but now that I have a um, decent supply of blue points, I should be able to get there pretty easily. Um, oh, just wow, just wow, how did you do it? I don't know, I just went back to my hut. Wait, I should be used to it. Well, I give lemons all the time. You're such a useless idiot, and yet you're immortal. That's totally not fair. I hate you, pardon me. I hate you. Let me write this down, Gregor Keeper. Can't die. Hmm, I'm sweet, I paid you sure. Now that your immortal is here, I, I've decided that I don't want to die in this dungeon. The dungeon right up there. It was here even before the church, and nobody knows how deep it goes. In ancient times, they nailed heretics to the wall and scorched their legs before the ancient conjurer. Can I help? I have my sources, so I always know where to find what I need. And at this point in my plan for retribution, a lot of things I need are in that dungeon. First, I need a bucket of blood and five bloody nails. You should be able to find them on one of the first levels where the pagans were tortured. Sounds like someone moaning. Are you there? Maybe, maybe not. This place hides many things, not that I care unless it has to do with my plan. Hmm. So, how do I get past the fire? Hmm, I should check. Oh, there's quite a lot of stuff here, actually. I don't get... as a person. Hey, guacamole. Indeed, was a pleasant surprise. I've been so desperate to see someone again. Are you alive? Do you need help? Let's just say I'm conscious, and I'm glad to hear you so kindly offer your help. My name is Lanta. There should be a lever on the right. Got it. Okay, this person doesn't look, look human. Wait, I'm surprised it's still working. Now, would you be so kind to hit me with your sword a couple times? Could you first answer a question? Please hit me first. I haven't felt anything for so long. Bang! Bang! Ooh, that's good. First feeling I've had for many years. Now, we have to answer your questions. Who are you? Like I said, I'm Gunter. Are you dead? Mm, that's a complicated question. Personally, I prefer to be called an undead person. In popular culture, we're known as zombies. How did you become a uh, undead science, plus a little bit of magic? The old master made me, actually, he made a lot of us. Do my brothers still work at the graveyard? I think there's only you. By the way, I'm the new graveyard keeper. Oh, then you should make me some more brothers. They'll be a big help for you. How can I make new undead? Oh, it's quite simple. You can find a resurrection table blueprint on the rack to the left. There should also be a couple bottles of the main the resurrection ingredient nearby. You can make more at the alchemy desk. Do you know the recipe? Well, the second ingredient is blood. I'm not sure about the first, but I think it's some kind of powder. Why did you ask me to hit you? Oh, in my current situation, I feel nothing. First, it was a nightmare, but then I found out that I can still feel pain. It doesn't feel like pain, though. More like a gentle breeze, but still, it's all I have. I can hit you again if you like. That's very kind of you, but I must refuse. After so many years, your strikes were truly a pleasure, but it'll be a couple of years before I can feel anything like it. And I have too little flesh on my bones to waste it. Will they be like you? Sadly, no. I'm unique. Something went wrong with me, but I was too smart. That's why the old master chained me here. I didn't fit in. I can unchain you. I've been chained up here for too long. My flesh is too rotten. Plus, I kind of like it here. Now, can your brothers help me? Uh, oh, they can do simple crafts for you. If you give them the right gear, they'll be able to gather resources for you and even transport them. What gear? Hmm. I believe one zombie should be buried under the rocks along the path to the forest. Under the rocks, path to the forest. You can dig him up and examine his gear. Okay, that is... <laughs> that's a lot. Um, where can I find zombie gear? There's a pass to the forest area to the north of the church. Okay. My undead brother should be buried somewhere under the rocks there. Okay, I guess... Well, I guess Gunther's just staying here. 
Okay, resurrection table. That is quite fun. Open. Zombie juice. We'll take that. Okay, so it looks like we can get workers on a farm. I guess maybe a bit of automation or something, which sounds pretty fun. Uh, metal scrap and anything else to loot. I wouldn't mind looting. Uh, we do we will need that diary still. I don't know if we can just like sneak past or if we have to actually, I don't know. And I also don't know if there's actually, well, there's so much to do. It's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> it's... Okay, we can just sneak past. Let's take the book. Anything here. So now we go sneak past again. Let's see if we can actually build anything here. Is this like an actual place that we can use? Oh, quality. We have a new place. Skulls in a column, skulls in a wall. So that is skulls, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, let's go in here. Oh, we have dungeon levels. That's pretty cool. So let's try dungeon level one. It's nice that there's no like time. I get that like, there's time up here. And like, if you miss one, you'll miss a day. But it's nice to like, you can just do whatever you want. Like, you don't have to do this or this. You can just spend a day doing what you want. If you have a quest to hand in, then yeah, you have to spend that day doing that quest. But that's completely your choice. But you don't have to. You can just wait until next week if you're so busy. But yeah, it's nice not having to worry about it. Um, what am I meant to be looting, per se? Like, am I meant to be chopping like this kind of stuff down and getting it from here? Because this is just giving me kind of rubbish. We get a metal scrap, which I don't think I've ever seen before. That might be the thing that you can put in the furnace just to craft metal bars. And if it is, that's not that like, great because metal bars isn't necessarily rare. How do we heal? Do these cutlets also heal? It doesn't look like it. So I guess we have to be some kind of um, worrisome about our health because we haven't been taking too much damage, but if it's a dungeon and there's a lot of bad guys, then we probably will take a decent amount of damage. Just because the amount of them, like if each bad guy hits me once, then you know we're eventually going to die based on how many bad guys there are. But it looks like the only bad guys that are actually hitting me are the bats. Our oh, new body is going to be so rotten by the time we get it. I guess uh, rotten bodies we can use to... Bye. Um... Rotten bodies we can use to harvest the skin and like the brains and stuff because we will be needing all of that stuff. Okay, I've yet to find a single thing that I'm looking for. I have no idea. I forgot what it's called, but I'd assume I'd know it when I see it, you know. Um, I haven't died yet, which is great. I've kind of figured out how to defeat the bats. Um, because the slimes just charge at you, so you just keep swinging. But then that's like an actual charge. And all you have to do is just... So I have to kill all the enemies first. Just, all you have to do is just dodge that initial charge from the bat, and then you won't attack you again until it does another charge, but by the time it uh, has its little cooldown, you should be able to kill it, which is great. Um, we are missing some bad guys. I did take uh, a split in the road, so I guess the other bad guys are down the other split. It is actually really far away. It was like right at the beginning, which is um, a bit of a not issue, but it is weird how I haven't come across what I'm looking for. Like, I don't know what it'd look like because I don't know what I'm looking for. I think this is the split, right? I think I went down, I should head up. And there's also another way down that way, it looks like. But let's see if we can just... But yeah, I really don't want to die. I've never died properly before. I don't think I'd lose too much. I don't know what I'd lose full stop, but... I keep running out of energy. And I assume there are obviously some kind of health potions or something in there. Oh yeah, but our energy is really low. No, nothing else here, which is great. I'm going to keep chopping these guys down because they do give like free... I, I can't actually chop that guy down. Oh, maybe it's inside these barrels. These barrels look like you can interact with. No, you can't. I'm interacting with the broken barrel. Yeah, but I'm happy to just chop these down. It gives free points, random resources as well. But unless... Like, there must be something I can just loot that I just haven't been looting. Unless I come one HP away from getting hit in the face. But let's quickly check this bottom left, and if there's no bad guys down here, then I should have cleared out the whole place. Okay, no bad guys here, so it looks like I've already cleared out that place. So now I'm just going to head over to the second floor, and once I've gone down to the second floor, I'll just like teleport home, because I don't want to worry about killing more bad guys. Maybe the loot isn't here, but I feel like I remember Snake saying, you know, um, what did he say? He said like, what? He said, the loot can be found on the first floor. So like, where is it? But I've just not got any of it. I don't remember what it was called, but I'm pretty sure. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I pick it up, I would have been like, "Oh, that is what I've been looking for." But no, I have not found it. The composite. 
The only thing that I've been able to loot is like these all the broken benches, like the barrels. That's just giving me like you know wood and stuff that you would normally get. Uh, could I explore a little bit? And if I come across a single bag, I'll just run. Um, yeah, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Can I teleport? Oh, but I can't. Wait, that's okay. That's actually that's actually boring there. Oh, so if you leave, you leave straight away. So snake is gone, which is pretty standard. Um, I would expect him to leave. And I think I'm all done here. I definitely want to do that zombie, but I think before I get the zombie, I probably want to build a resurrection table anyway. And I don't even know where I'd put the zombie. I think I've been doing so much stuff that like I have I've actually been doing nothing. So I need a wooden beam, which would be here, right? And it is this one, isn't it? This is so far away. Um, next man, you know how to use that chopping small tree can now give you an additional log. Also, you can make more firewood wedges from log chunks. It's on that great. Chop down a big tree. And so now I can chop down big trees. So the perks. Where would I find them? Characters. Perks. Okay, so I can't pick on them, so I assume I just have them all activated, which is great. Um, so yes, that's fine. I wish I could, like, delete it, because I don't necessarily need to see it. But, but this one, you can now arrange a church service. I don't need to see that. I know I have that. I can just get rid of it. Cannot. I also know I have that one. Okay, so money from the church would be great. But I need more blue points, and for more blue points, I need more other stuff. I need to be more everything. So is this place actually useful? No, maybe. But this is underneath my house, right? So it could just be used as like a nice little storage space. Which would be useful, but for now it is not. Red is Inquisitor, and I don't think I've still done his quest. I do want to do their quests, but there's just so much to do. It's actually ridiculous. I want to go get the zombie. I've got a new body that's probably rotten by now. Um I just unlocked like seven new workbenches from all of my blue points. I want to deal with the bees. There's just so much and it's not necessarily too hard to think about. You just lose track and like I'll do the bees and then I'll get more bees later on. It's just like why? Why is this so much? The keeper's diary, who does that go to? I think the astrologer. If it does go to the astrologer then that's fine. Hopefully this body isn't actually like insane. Because it'd be too rotten now to actually use it. Okay, it was pretty good, but not too bad. So I'll just harvest the skin. I think harvesting the brain has a chance to get rid of the red skulls. But it also has a chance to get rid of white. Yeah, so it got rid of my white ones instead of my red ones. So I definitely do not want that. Um, I'll take the skin. I don't want to clog up my inventory per se, but I guess it's... And then we'll take the skulls as well because we just found out that we need them for decorations. I'm sure all of this stuff is useful. Um, we did find out that we need blood to make the zombie stuff, so I guess we'll take that as well. I guess we're just taking everything and get this, right? Um, I'll just leave it at that. I'm sure we'll need the other stuff at some point, but can't bother to just carry it around all the time. And this guy will just throw away. Uh, more blue points, which means more faith. We can't worry about that. So no more upgrades yet until purple day. So I think the first thing I want to do is... I think I want to go up to the beehive, because... Where would the forest be? I don't know if it'd be up there. This is above the church. I think it would actually be out of that way. So let's do the beehive first. After I've deposited all of this rubbish. It says here, church workbench blueprint unlock. But if I go here, it says I already have it. Church workbench. Let's just double check. Church workbench. I don't know how I already have it, but you know, I do. So I think I want to craft that as well as a normal disc. So I need 18 nails. Do I have enough? I have enough wood, alright. 9 plus 7 is 17, yeah. 4 complex, 18 nails. And there is other stuff that I'm sure I'd want to craft, but let's just do that for now, because I'm going to that. And I already have enough blood, that is a lot of blood, because you're going to get 1 blood per body. But I haven't, I definitely haven't taken 11 blood from 11 bodies, right? So I don't know how I got that much, but you know, I did, so. And, um, webs. But I want to use this gun. I wish you could move stuff. Can I? Why can't I move you? I can't throw it away either, can I? What can you do? Right, so it is now a, um, a blue day, right? So the astrologer should be here. So he's the one that wants the diary. Nice, that's his quest done. How many important things there must be in this book? Amazing. I haven't felt so alive for a long time, so how can I open the portal on which hill? Let me see, you need to craft a spirit laser, but I don't know what a laser is. Sorry, it should be crafted on the pedestal in front of the portal. 
We need to craft it into two parts, an emitter and a barrel. And here we have three parts of the emitter. A mirror of pride, an eternal burning coal, and a salty fork. We've got a second part. The second part of the book's text is covered with something sticky. I'll need to clean it off first. I think I'll need some acid and restoration tools to clean it. Okay, so this definitely seems like some kind of late game thing. Because this is to do the portal and the portal is to get home, which is my main goal. So I guess I'll probably come across all this stuff naturally as I progress to other quests. He wrote that his friends believe that all these things could be found in the town. Hmm, I understand this, but he wrote that they were the soul of the town. It all sounds like a delusion to me, magic, half, what nonsense. If I were you, I'd start with something you can see. First, I'll check the pedestal near the portal. Second, try to get to the town and find those items. Um, so about that, it. I gave up alchemy many years ago. It's really a dead end occupation, but I think I can get, I know where you can get some acid. There should be an old woman in the swamp. She's definitely crazy, but in the distant past, she sold chemical ingredients. Do you know where I can find some restoration tools? Uh, there we may have a problem, young man. The inquisit the, the inquish, the inquisition. What is that word? The inquisition destroyed them all. Fools. They believe that past can only bring harm and curses, but I think you might still be able to find some on the black market. Somebody with criminal connections can help you. And if you know the right guy, I should talk to Snape. Trade. What do we? What does he sell? So he's at tier two now. Oh, he's at tier three as well. Oh, these give like, yeah, they give guaranteed points, right? Which uh, is great, but not great enough that they're worth buying. Um, let's quickly go to the dead horse because we have a couple pages to sell, which will clear out the inventory a little bit. So I'm going to moan about that. And then, should we sell some of these? We have so many. How many? If we sell 11, it's a decent amount. That's an extra four silver. Yeah, why not? Why not? Because um, we do want to keep leveling them up to unlock the oil or wine or whatever it's called. Wait, unless we sell all of this, which gives us one silver, and then we just buy... What's his cheapest thing? What if we just sell it and then just buy it back from him? Just to level up him, because I do want to unlock the wine. Because two people want that. Two different people. And I think it's worth it. It was well, obviously not worth it, but I think it's worth it for the sake of friendship. It's only a two bronze increase. So if we buy 22, and then we just buy it from him. If we just buy like 13, that'll be enough. Um, and then we talk to him again. Is that going to show? Okay, it's not, it doesn't look like a big increase. Maybe it takes time to update. I have no idea. Maybe I'm just, you know, whipping or whatever, but. Man, there's so much to do. Surely purple is soon, right? Okay, it's tomorrow. That's great. Okay, what was the next plan? The next plan is to keep cooking carrots. I think our carrots are actually done. I just haven't um, planted more yet. So let's deal with that, and then we'll go build this workbench. All right, let's have a look. Did we bring everything? Um, so we want a desk. We need it. I don't recognize this design. I don't think we have it. Um, should we put it like here? I don't know if this is a good spot or not. Yeah, why not? Let's just put everything as close as it can for now. And then the Turk workbench. Oh, that's that. Okay, so we really have that. It's so strange. I didn't understand that. The alchemy rack looks cool, but it might just be a place to store potions, which obviously isn't that cool. But I feel like I do remember needing it. And then I think we have everything else that we can craft. Okay, so anything we needed is this. What can this craft? So in craft clean paper, which we do not need, but that's fine. We can also craft notes, which... Uh, oh, wow. Well, this is too confusing. I see. Oh, wow. So I recently got my first silver one, which looks like if I use the silver one, it gives a guaranteed bronze piece uh, of paper, which allows me to craft the chapter. And then the chapter allows me to craft, I think a book, but I haven't unlocked the recipe for a book. Oh, and this is where I craft these. Oh, these are actually hella expensive. I really need to upgrade the church, don't I? And to upgrade the church, I need candles, and the candles, I need bees. So I need to work on the bees. So let's not worry about that yet. And then pen and ink, we can't craft here, can we? This also needs pen and ink. Um, so how do we craft pen and ink? Craft at church workbench. Is this not? No, this is the church workbench. Pen and ink. We haven't unlocked it yet. Okay. It's fine then. 
Um, it should be on this one. And I'm panning. I just need a bit of blue. Let's find him. We're working on it. Let's still with the. Let's put a bunch of stuff in here first. Those can go in there. Pages can go in there as well for now. Let's double check requests. Inquisitor wants firewood. Um, okay, I'm ignoring these. Fine. Okay, I want to do the zombie actually. The bucket of blood, which we can craft, and five bloody nails, which we have not found. I wouldn't mind doing his quest though. That's actually quite. Uh, I think he's quite important. Because I think he he gives me one of the trade licenses, doesn't he? Yes, he. I think Snake gives me the trade license, which unlocks the merchant. Well, no, he gives me. Uh, someone can have a licensed. Where's the other guy? I have no idea. It's Cresfold, isn't it? There's so many people. Silver Star Pumpkin. Help the rich restore. How do I get pumpkins? Oh, this is so. Uh, Snake gives me the stamp, so I can start selling meat to a heretic, which I think is quite important. I need health potions. Man, right, let's go do this honey thing. But the honey thing needed paper, didn't it? So we want to we want to take the paper from here, and then I think it needs other stuff as well. But we have to go over there check first because I don't remember. You know, to level. Okay, I'm grabbing stuff. You know, fourth and fourth. And um, we won't be able to increase our uh, faith by tomorrow, so that's fine. We'll just take the. I still have no idea, no idea what this is for. I assume the donkey would have put it in there to conserve it a little bit longer, but he does not. He's a bit weird. Oh, this is a really nice body. If we remove the blood and the fat, it will be guaranteed five points. Pretty sure. That did not work. Why didn't that work? Okay. Remove the fat. I'm pretty sure it's blood and fat, ain't it? Huh, strange. Oh, well, we'll still take a 1 to 4 ratio. Uh, we'll definitely get this guy planted down. There's so much to do, and it's just so confusing. Well, not confusing, like, I understand what's happening. It's just overwhelming, but I guess that's a good sign. Like, we, you're never going to get bored playing, are you? So, you can't complain in that sense. Wait. In the shot, this gives 12 points. Same with the flower bed. Why have I not been making these? The flower beds might fit in between. Probably not, actually. Red flowers we have. Peat we need to... We can get. And this is very expensive, though. This is like... I don't understand why it's so expensive. But this is like guaranteed. Thing, uh, good points without even having bodies. Okay, we'll definitely need to think about that. And this actually is going to give us negative points, ain't it? Yep, up until we get uh, boards around it. So we need to craft some stuff. We need to craft this. Okay, that's fine. I'm not that. So we craft that in a compost heap. So we need to craft a compost heap. I assume that's either the garden. Okay, no. Shh. We have. Okay, so the upgrade needs iron parts and just some regular things. Not too bad. Uh, I didn't bring with me, so I have to go get them. But that is fine. I've also just been harvesting random stuff on my journey. These look like they would give something pretty interesting. Um, metal scrap and filch. Okay, not that interesting, but we'll take it. Um, teleport back home. So needed iron parts and regular wooden planks. Easy peasy. Let's do our ceremony sermon thingy. Yeah, it's a sermon. Uh, boom. This should be guaranteed. Uh, I think four points. Hopefully, you, I think there is a chance to get more, but I think the average is four. This will be the second one we've ever passed. I think that's our guaranteed first two. And then we use our little blessing, which will give us even more. Give us another two, it looked like. I think that was two, so we should have four now. Yep, so four seems to be the average, which you know isn't great. We definitely want more than four, but I think for now it's fine. Um, I think we should research the brain, because the brain needed three. Which, you know, you could argue it's definitely not worth it then, is it? But there must be a reason why it needs three, right? And then also maybe do like a skull. What's interesting is that when you do research, you don't lose the item, which is pretty cool. And it also looks like the brain didn't actually stink, which is interesting as well. Yes, it does need three, but uh, I can only assume that gives us a whole bunch more um, blue points, right? It looks like a lot, but that is a lot. How much is it? That's 50 points, I guess. Great. And then we'll also just do a skull just for the sake of it. Um, that should give us like 20 or whatever is given us. Yeah, 20. 
Um, yeah, so we do keep both the brain and the skull, which is great. Uh, but there's an air that can go in there as well for now. And then, what do we want to gather? I don't think there's anything. Are okay, you going to even get books for... That's interesting. Super mushrooms. Uh, you love nature and you can gather more resources from small plants. Hmm. I think I definitely do want to upgrade farming in nature because um, my uh, overall like green status is quite low. But I think maybe this compost heat will give us green points. So maybe that should be... But um, oh, this is a perk. Having relaxes you, and when the work is done, you always manage to find time to make extra nails. Come on, we've got to go with that. No, do we have to go with that? I don't know. Furnace level 2, which unlocks steel. Okay, we definitely wanted this one, right? We need an ink. Uh, this unlocks books, which is great. Um, these are quite expensive to craft. We know how to put words together. So technically, you need to reveal it somehow. Shelf, desk. I definitely do want to work with crafting. Oh, There's not even that much for books. Interesting. Um, yeah, there's just so much. And it's just so hard. There was another one somewhere. It was this. The, um, yeah, the, the burning. Right, let's have a quick look to see how we make... Are there any feathers? I don't even know how to get those. How do we get feathers? You got to go kill birds or something? I don't even know, man. Like, we see bats technically have feathers. Do bats have feathers? See, look, another 72 bronze, which, like, doesn't sound that great, but really, when you think about it, it's not even that bad. Um, but for now, let's get on this beehive business so we can repair this apiary. So I don't think this is going to be the beehive itself. But this will hopefully allow us to unlock beehives. It does. Oh, we need bees. Okay, that, <laughs> that makes sense, but yeah, we don't have any of those. It also looked like we had to clear out these things. Okay, so we're making progress. Progress is just so um, small, but it's just so slow. And I guess we progress is progress, you know? I wouldn't mind doing Snake's Quest in the dungeon. If we can find literally any food that gives itself. I think there definitely is food. I'm pretty sure we have to come across it. And um, we just don't have... Like, I th the, the tavern was selling food that gives health. So if, you know, if anything was to do it, I think we'd just go there. But if we can craft it ourselves, then that'd be great. Um, looks like we've also come across plants. I forgot that these guys are actually here. I think they actually jump scared me the first time I played. Okay, these guys are just going crazy on me. Alright, let's just leave these things. They give bat wings, which is pretty cool. I think bat wings can turn into paper as well. But I'm not that interested. I think if money and like energy and health is such a problem, we should just work on crafting all of this stuff near here. Because... River sand. Yeah, I think we should just go around exploring. Because there's, there's another bench thing that we haven't crafted as well. Um, compost heap. Compost. Why is it never here? Compost heap. It's just never where I need it to be. I get that like it wouldn't make sense to be there. It's more of a garden kind of thing. But this would be pretty cool as well. But we don't have um, the things. It's just everything. We need everything, but we just don't have nothing. Compost heap. Nice. We only need in sticks. Okay, we can get some sticks. We have sticks, actually. They're just in a chest. And they don't work if they're not in the chest which you need them to be. Um, bat wings. Sticks. This can go in here. A bunch of rubbish. Um, honey can go in here as well. Okay. And then, what did the compost heap need? I think th this is what we want to make. Like, it doesn't actually tell us. I'm pretty sure it did tell us. What was what did we need for the flowers? See, I've already forgotten. It's so it's so confusing. Where are the sticks? Man, what is going on? I, I put the sticks. I, I put the sticks in my inventory, and then I had over a stack. So I put the rest of the stick. That was moment. Yeah, so it does all 36 in one go. I see. That makes sense, because obviously it tells you, like, you can drag how many you want to do. But, you know, if I pick up a stick of a stack of six, I want to only take six. But, it's whatever. Um, let's put this one over here. Okay, I already kind of regret doing that. Um, and then let's get a couple... Okay, yeah, I regret. I regret. I regret. No, I don't regret. Who cares? It's not exactly hard to move, is it? Okay, I regret doing that. I didn't mean to do that. 
Okay, let's um, assume... I'm just going to eat. I can't bother to run all the way home. I'm going to assume this is where I put grapes, which we have recently... It doesn't even tell you. I forgot that doesn't tell you. We, we have recently seen that we can unlock from research. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Maybe we have finally found our use for... Um, okay, we actually need carrots as well. We need carrots for the donkey. Have we found a use for the waste? We have over 99 waste. That's a lot. I can only assume you can put it. Sure. Have we found a use for it? We have. Nice. Okay. So that's working. And that'll craft that. And what do we need this for? I already forgot. Now I already forgot. But what did we need it for? Oh man. Uh, you can select good seeds and house. You can select good seeds and house. That actually sounds pretty cool. So there's the grapes. Okay, so we can harvest bees. We just need to figure out how. Maybe harvesting flowers during the day and then moths during the night. Let's see if we can craft any health food. Because Mr. Snake is coming in two days. So it'd be nice to. It doesn't even tell you. I forgot that you can't hover over it. Oh no, I guess it tells you here, right? So this is just energy. Okay, let's start from here. Or energy. You have additional time to hook a fish. Oh, this is you don't have you don't let fish off the hook easily. You don't let fish off the hook easily. This is your pretty cool. Okay, so these none of these give it health. Ah. Oh. Okay. And technology. Alchemy. These aren't even health potions, these are for um, the other stuff. It's always going to be a building. Farming and nature. Maybe these mushrooms. You can get a special dish out of the mushrooms. Let's just go with that then. Why not? Um, I know where the mushrooms are. They're over at the pine ore. Um, you have to put sometimes you can match for a good sentence. Mother would be proud. I do want to work with books, but feathers. We need to figure out how to get feathers. Let's try harvesting some mushrooms and to see if it unlocks a recipe because we don't have a recipe to actually use them yet, I don't think. Uh, I don't know how we'd... <laughs> this is just a minus health. It doesn't even increase health. I will just harvest those couple from that and we'll leave it. Uh, make the head to sleep, increase our energy again, and then we'll go to dungeon level 2 and hope we find the bloody nails that we need. Um, that's not a swear word, that's just actually what they're called. They are nails that are bloody. Um, a bucket of oil or a bucket of blood we can just craft, so I'm not worried about that. We just can't craft the nails, so that one is the one we have to worry about. I have no idea how to actually get it. Looks like our thing has given us our first one, but it hasn't, it was just saying. It does take a while then because that's like the second time I've slept. Um, actually, no, I think to get to the dungeon, I just go underneath here, don't I? So I can't remember what the compost needed. I think it's such a problem going back and forth because like I have all of the workbench the church it's all over there so if I want to craft something I have to come all over to get the resources and go way back which isn't like crazy it's not worth moaning about if I could fix this it would make my time a lot easier and I just need the support beam which is from this one isn't it and it's not too crazy to get to it's this right so I'd have to so I can unlock it now I just need 220 which actually isn't bad. The 200 is actually pretty easy. And then 20 is very easy as well. I should work on that next then. Yeah, I also had to craft the circle saw. But, and then what, as soon as I've got that, I can clear out this. And then there was something that needed 10 beams, which seems like, you know, that's pretty cool. But I can't remember what that was. So I think for now, we'll do the dungeon. Um, I'm not too right about it. Obviously, there is a good chance that I might die, but I'll just do like one floor. Um, in the, I can instantly go to level 2, which is great. I don't see level 1 anymore. Um, actually, I'm intrigued. Does level 1 reset? I assume it would, right? But what would indicate and reset just the fact that I've left? Um, I don't know, there's no bad guys. Maybe it hasn't reset. Which I can only assume means I didn't miss the bloody nails, because if it doesn't reset, then I've looted the whole place. So I think I've just got to try and do level 2 now. Maybe figure out how to get a better sword, as well as like some new arrow stuff as well. Because there's definitely stuff I'm missing, right? I need a sword, I need food. There's definitely better ways to get better at combat. I'm using, you know, a rusty sword. If something's called a rusty sword, there's definitely, you know, 
a steel sword or something that uh, you can actually interact with these shelves but there doesn't seem to be anything in them and um, it'd be pretty nice if we found you know a book but i guess you know look with the books and these have given us metal scrap and i kind of don't want to harvest the chairs anymore because i really don't need metal scrap but not a single bit of me needs it so i think i'm just going to ignore that for now i really feel like i'm missing something because all i'm doing is just killing bad guys and not getting any loot and it feels like what's the point of doing a dungeon if you're going to have a treasure chest at the end but i guess like, they are very easy floors that like you can see like i've not been taking that much damage except there now that i'm not focusing but um, you can tell that like the back they really aren't that hard once you learn how they work the slime is actually kind of more scary because they do more damage than the bats but i guess just because they're so easy to defeat that you know just don't let them touch you all right so i think that's level two cleared out like i said just think that anything just a bunch of wood and metal scrap the mob chops are pretty useful because these can be turned into paper and then the green jellies, I think it's a class of food. So if I can figure out what else the green jelly needs, because I have so much of it, I might as well just, you know, just smell it all, um, which I'm happy to do. I might as well try level three as well, because like I said, um, they're pretty easy floors and nothing has actually changed difficulty wise. A uh, new bad guys, it looks like, um, which is kind of interesting. Honestly, um, are they doing damage? They are doing some kind of damage. We're getting powder though, which is pretty cool. I don't think that's what I wanted, uh, not what I wanted from the bad guys. I can't tell if it's me doing damage or them doing damage. Oh yeah, they do like... Oh, okay, they hurt. Um, but if the the bad guy floors don't actually reset, then this is fine then. Because I can just kill a couple bad guys and then come back later. And then just clear it again and just... Well, like, well, yeah, because okay, yeah, I can leave now. Just go to sleep and come back straight away, which I think is great. Uh, looks like a new day as well. I can't remember who is Brown. Who's Brown? To be honest, I haven't done that many quests that I don't really... So Brown is the merchant. Uh, he needs a cure for his curse. And I'm pretty sure he... for the cure he wanted me to go speak to uh, the witch. Which I am. I'm not that bored about doing just yet. I'm also going to store these stuff in this chest. Just because it's going to take up so much inventory space. And I'm sure they're for like alchemy or something. So there's no reason just to keep him hold of me just yet. And the, what was it? The slime. Was it the slime? I can't even use the slime yet. Maybe I can use it somewhere else. But yeah, I guess it doesn't have much use just yet, which is fine. I need to remember to go to the the guy. Who's the guy? You know the guy. A donkey, because he's got no carrots. And if I don't give him any carrots, I'm not going to make any progress. But yeah, um, we'll just go. Oh, we got a maggot and six compost heap. That's actually quite a lot. Um, yeah, because we definitely need bodies for skin and just for everything in general. But yeah, I'll go to the dungeon again straight away because I because Snake is coming tomorrow. So if I can complete his quest before tomorrow, that'd be great. But I have no idea what to do with either of these. Craft that compost heap. Craft that compost heap. Technologies, gardening. Um, oh, maybe I use a fertilizer. Okay, that makes sense. And that would be probably be how I get, what's it called? The golden pumpkins for the quest. But I have, I have no gold pumpkins just yet, which is kind of a bummer. All right, let's get straight back into it. I'm all reset. Um, I didn't end up sleeping for like the entire day because my energy was full, but my health wasn't, which I guess takes a little bit more time to sort of back to full. So I've got about half a day to hopefully finish Snake's quest, but I have no idea what floor the bloody nails are on. It was Again, that's what they're called. If we have a new body. Oh man. We have to do the body first before it rots, aren't we? Okay, we'll do the body first. This is so long. Right, we managed to get a five skull one, which is absolutely great. And um, I got it from getting rid of the blood and the fat, which is apparently meant to get both uh, get rid of the red and they're, they're both red ones, which is great. Um, it did so, so can't complain about that. And then now that should give us an extra five rating. Oh, that's what we wanted it for. So this, I remember now, it's for the flower bits. Okay, that's great then. Um, it really just depends how much room it actually takes up because obviously I want to use all of my space available towards bodies because bodies are still the best. But I guess I could just put flower beds temporarily until um, that comes to fruition. But yeah, that's pretty cheap to make. Uh, should I make a couple now just to see what they're like? Or should I focus on Guy's quest? I think I should focus on the question now. I'm also going to just uh, cook some beet. Actually, I can't cook anymore. I was, I was cooking beet anyway, just because they give quite a lot. 
But no, they don't. I, I'm not even talking, I'm just rambling. They they don't give a lot of stuff, but however, they give green points. And the only way we're getting green points is by chopping trees, which obviously takes time out of our day, which isn't bad. But, you know, if I can just do it easily by cooking stuff, which takes no time out of our day, then I might as well. And it st does still give cooking recipes or cooking food and energy anyway. So, you know, there's no harm done. And we don't have any use for beets. Maybe I should just sell the beets for money. But if it's just going to sit in my chest and do nothing, then I might as well sell them. And if later on I find out, oh, I actually need this for this, then I can just grow more beets, right? But I guess the price of the seeds in comparison of the selling price of the beets isn't great. So I guess it's, it's a pretty uh, worth of a deal. Yeah, I took a whole bunch of damage. There was like just so many bats and wasps at the same time. So that was definitely a problem. I definitely need health food or maybe even a better weapon. I guess while we're here, um, well, I can give him that if I. I told you to give some illegal items. If you had that, I could probably do that. One good turn. Okay, so. Okay, so to get the royal stamp, or to get the town pass. What is the town pass? I only need a bucket of blood, which I can get. I can craft that. Uh, I've got a job. I need to find some restoration tools. A, a job? How cute? What do you think you are? Uh, I've got silver. I'll pay you now. I'm just going to use for money. If you help me achieving my life's goal, then maybe I'll think about helping you quick pro quo, as the villagers used to say. So now I need to get to 40 points. So I think I should go craft a bucket of blood so I can get a town pass. I can't remember what the town pass is for. Oh, I guess to get into the town. That makes sense. And we need to get into the town. If the town's actually a real place, I'm actually going to be quite surprised. I thought it wouldn't be a real place just because it sounds like such a big place. And imagine going all the way over there. But maybe it's not. And if it is, then it sounds like a good place to make money. You know, maybe there's a couple of jobs or something. I wish I had a job. I know I'm a job as... I have a job as, you know, a graveyard keeper. But he doesn't exactly pay well, you know what I mean? Um, I need to go to the church, craft blood. Oh, there's so much to do. And we haven't even got the zombie yet as well. Like, we've gone the whole episode without getting the zombie. You know, the one guy that, uh, you know, automates stuff. I guess there isn't much to automate. Because it sounds like all you guys just, like, collect wood. Which, you know, that'd be helpful. We, we could do some wood. But at the same time, we don't actually need um, a constant supply of wood, at least. So what am I here for? A bucket of blood. Do we craft it here? A bucket of blood. It needs... Why do I do this every time? I didn't even bring this. Need this. Hmm? You'd think a bucket would need wood, but I guess I just. There's just a lot of so much walking and forth. I just wish there was a fast travel, and you'd think that, that the underground maybe can be cast as some kind of fast travel, but at the same time, it just doesn't feel that fast of a traveling method. So, bucket of blood. I don't know if it's worth crafting or if it's more worth finding. I don't know if you can find it, but you know, we just have so much blood for some reason. I have no idea how we have so much blood, but we do. So we might as well use it um, and get Mr. Key's quest. Uh, Mr. Key's quest. Why did I even say that? Get um, the snake quest. Get his points, which he'll then unlock the town pass for me. So, you know, uh, all together, it actually sounds like be worth it. No, I don't want to do that. I want to harvest. Let me harvest. Why can't I harvest? Oh, I've got it. And then we should be able to plant more, which we can. And then we've got more carrots as well. I'm running out of carrots. We'll probably have to, we'll definitely have to buy more seeds if we want to keep a constant supply of energy and donkeyness. But we'll hand in this quest. We'll get the town pass. And then we'll finish the episode, go find the zombie. Or we'll finish the episode finding the zombie. Because I definitely want the zombie. Um, and I keep forgetting. I have a rough idea of where he may be. Um, there is a bridge that we haven't repaired yet. And I think he may be across that bridge. Okay, there's the blood. I don't, I don't like you, but your help would be taken into account. So now we get the town pass. Okay, sure. We don't have to pay him or anything. Nice. So now we now have the town pass. Um, the map. I'd assume town either up here or up here. That's the portal. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I, I think it's north, but like this is the far as the map goes. So unless it's up here, I think this is where the bridge and repaired yet. So we can't go any higher. So the only place the town could be is like here, but you know, you think it is massive, so maybe it has its own map of its own. Um, 
but yeah, I think we're good for now. We don't have a ceremony for a while with Snake. I think I'm done with for this week. We did manage to complete one of his items, which I guess is progress, but I think we definitely could have done better. Um, let's put all of these in here to just take too much space again. Um, and let's sleep quickly and then we'll go find the zombie. We've got to give him another body during the night, which is, you know, so annoying, but we we'll have to deal with it. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to put this stuff in here and then I'm going to take a bunch of stuff that I may need to build the bridge because I don't want to do multiple trips and if I can do it in one trip then that would be great because what's this is this a town pass oh, maybe I have to give it to someone then yeah if I can just craft a bunch of stuff that is probably needed for the bridge um, it's definitely not a waste because I'd be needing that stuff anyway at some point especially just basic wooden planks then once I get to the place that needs it then I won't have to do you know two trips Thing before we go to the zombie, I want to see if I can make this fridge thing. Um, no, I think it was in here, right? It needs two stones. Okay, let's quickly go do that. Just real quick, and then we'll go do that. Because I think it's definitely worth doing, and I'm just going to keep forgetting if I don't do it. And every time we get a zombie, instead of having to, uh, you know, like, dissect him, and then go put him in the ground before he decomposes, I can just shove him in the fridge, and then go do what I want to do. Because he always just seems to come at the most annoying time when, like, not necessarily when you least expect it, but to the point where um, you're doing something else. Like, you're never free. But I guess in this game, you are literally never free. So, at like, what time do you expect him to come if you are never available? Okay, so that looks like it's done. Hopefully, that is what it says it is. I wonder what the difference between these two are. I assume maybe the palette is just for a place to put it down. And then the preparation place is actually where you actually prepare him. But then why would you ever build a pallet and not a preparation place? Because the difference in crafting materials isn't too crazy. But there must be a way to use these. Because I have two and there's never a point of uh, having it. I'm going to build a pallet then even though I just said I wouldn't. Because I think a pallet is going to be what um, stops it from decaying as quick. And I think this little hatch thing, I, I know is horse or the donkey let me just i'll show you guys so i can put this here it's okay i can now have two bodies at a time right okay i can that's nice so the, the donkey will now put it in here straight away and it'll drop down into the other hatch i just built so the decays slower when it's inside so that's great it's kind of like a little fridge um, not as useful as i thought i thought it'd be quite a bit more useful than that but useful nonetheless so that's great let's go find this bridge that we need to repair so I found another fishing spot, which is great. Um, I think that's now three out of four fishing spots. A swamp, river, town, and snake. Oh, so the last one, I, I was pretty confident I couldn't find at all. Somewhere I've never been. Um, I, uh, this is what needed the wedges. Okay, that's not too bad. So it shows that my progress isn't... I'm not meant to be up here yet. But what was I going up here for? I don't actually remember. Which is kind of a problem. Uh, whilst we're at the swamp, I guess we could go find the witch and then we'll call it a day because the witch uh, seems like she'll have something useful for me. Hopefully, progress on the requests. I'm going to craft the bridge as well because this place is so annoying to navigate. Like, it's actually ridiculous. But hopefully, this bridge, I have no idea what it's going to be, but hopefully, it's just a nice little bridge. But I think. Okay, so yeah, so now all I have to do is just go straight into the swamp, cross over this bridge, and it pretty much takes me straight to the witch, right? Because the witch is somewhere over here. But she's right here. So, okay, so now we have to never do that pathway again because it is actually so annoying. Um, I see. Okay, so she needs all of this stuff. The pumpkin actually doesn't give any friendship points, but to get her help with one of the other quests, I think with a cure, I need to have the health potion because the cauldron won't be enough. Um, so I don't know how to help get a health potion, I think. Probably crafting it myself maybe the easiest way. Maybe someone else probably sells it as well, but I think crafting it is going to be the easiest way. But we've yet to figure out how to make potions. Because um, this is alchemy, and you think, okay, alchemy, potions, easy peasy. Because this is for the resurrection table, nice. Um, but none of these are to do with like actual potion potions. They're all to do with a bunch of rubbish. This is purely the church. This is, I think, also to do with the church. This is obviously gardening. What's this? No, no. Alcohol. 
Wine making. Ah. That's going to be pretty useful. We make it ourselves. Plus 30 health as well. Do we have to make it the zombie winery? We don't have that, do we? Crafted that zombie winery. Maybe it's this one. Maybe we just... No, I don't think I want to buy this yet. We're saving up for something, aren't we? We're saving up for something pretty cool. I don't remember what it was then. How cool can it be? Oh, it's, oh, it's the... Yeah, it's this guy. Okay, so we only need seven more uh, red, which should be nice and easy. We'll just craft it. Or we'll just craft a couple of logs of sank. But yeah, let's go find this zombie again. I'm wasting time. Well, I actually said I'm wasting time trying to find this zombie, but the idea of where I thought it would be was actually up here where I thought I needed a bridge. It's actually not a bridge, it's something else. Um, but now that I think about it, it's not that bad because what we needed was the support beams, right? But then the support beams, we're actually just about to craft the wood wedges. Double check. Wood wedges. Is it not? Oh wait, wood wedges we've already unlocked. Oh, so I just brought, I, I brought everything I needed except the wood wedges. Okay, let's go do that. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Alright, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can. Okay, we should have all the stuff. Let's get to work. Is a zombie over here? I have no idea. If he's not, that's kind of sad. But I guess we'll find out. They said it was underneath some rocks. This obviously isn't rocks, but you know, quite a little bit of... Um, underneath rocks. Do we see any rocks? We do not. But this could be, there's some rocks here. Oh, this, this looks like a place. It'd definitely be a place you can interact with, and I think it would stand out quite well. And I think they remember saying north. Like maybe with forest. Oh, we, we should have a location with forest north near the river. And um, I guess we may have gone too far. I have no idea. Oh, we have. Oh, we have something here. This looks pretty cool. Um, we have. Oh, I guess I can just fix it straight away. We don't need any resources. Uh, it looks like some kind of mining post. Um, okay, a cabin in the woods. And what's this? Winter. Oh, got like a little second base. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, sleeping isn't that important in the game, it just restocks energy, but. Okay, that's just gonna give us. Wait, we have. Oh, wow. Craft. A marble quarry, actually very cheap to make. And we also have. Stone deposit. Wait, what does this give us? Four wedge for two stone? Is that right? What does this one give us? Yeah, it just builds a marble quarry. That one just gives us stone straight up. And then this one looks like copper, I guess. Oh, we can just mine it. Okay, let's mine one. Let's see what it does. I assume it's going to... Oh, maybe it gives us a big chunk of iron. Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm not worried about that just yet. Um, this definitely looks like the place the zombies would go, right? Because the zombies work for us, so maybe I can just get them to go working on here. Can we go down here? We just need to find out what the actual zombie is. The mine is full of toxic gases, so only if I could find someone who doesn't need to breathe. A zombie, per se? That makes sense. And that doesn't look like copper, that looks like steel, or whatever resource we need next. But we just have to find the zombie. He's laying around here somewhere. I found another node, this one looks like coal. I wouldn't actually mine some coal though. But if it's going to give us a big chunk, then... Wait, 21? Wait, let's mine another one, just for the sake of it. But this is going to be a, like, a good source of uh, fuel when it comes to cooking and mining. Yes, yeah, so it gives so much. But probably the fact that it gives so much means that it's not great, but you obviously get so much that it's going to be great either way. And this bridge is already built, and this looks like the last one maybe I haven't been to. Fishing spot, village, river, swamp and sea. Well, this one's the river, and that's the other one was the sea. Where am I at the moment? I assume I'm, I'm, I'm at a new location now. Where would I be? I'd be all over here. Oh, so I'm at the quarry, so I'm like right here. So I have no idea if I'm in the right place. But it looks like this is a whole new area that I haven't been to yet. We got a piece of beeswax from a uh, beehive, so I guess it's you do get it. It's just a rarer drop or something, which isn't bad, I guess. I would just harvest them as soon as we see them and it looks like they like recharge over time as well which is great um, oh is that a bee oh so you get bees from the actual um from the actual honeys which is great that's another bee to take off and i'll say another one that's our first one but you know now we know how to get them that'll be great right, i found this place with two so i'm hoping it's him um because he needs the same stuff and this one 
This must be the place Gunter was talking about. I think I need to clear the rocks in the middle of the road. Gunter? Was Gunter the one that told me where to find the zombie? Who's Gunter? Oh yeah, the zombie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, it looks like... Okay, so it looks like I can also teleport to the quarry as well, which is pretty cool. Um, energy very low. Oh, we missed Astrology Day as well, which is kind of a bummer. We've missed so many days. This episode has gone for so long. Because there's just so much to do. And I don't want to end at a point where like we're very close to doing something. Um, but it's sad that we missed Astrology Day because I would have liked to speak to the astrologer. But that's fine. We have uh, the speech day today. Okay, so I've had enough. Let's get this show on the road. Was okay. First, let's craft some iron parts. And then... Let's go craft. Okay, the inventory is maxed up. Um, wasp can go in here. A singular carrot seed can go in there. More honey. And then beeswax. There was something we needed beeswax for, which is very exciting. I'm sure I'll remember in about two years. And then wood wedges is what we need as well. Okay. So let's... Um, we do. I think we go do this, uh, the sea sermon first. Because I definitely don't want to miss it. Missing it is the worst thing going to mind. And then, if we were to research, like, the, not the brain, but the other thing, the heart of something, that also probably is going to cost free. And we're going to get so many points. We still don't have anything for you, do we? Nope. So we can put this in here, another 100% success rate. I think it's pretty much guaranteed to get 100% success rate for quite a while now. Um, I wouldn't mind increasing my prayer. I wouldn't mind getting the money one, because money is definitely something we need. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we need it's like so easy to get if you just buy it from people but we just don't have the money especially for like carrot seeds and stuff like they're not expensive at all carrot seeds but you know if we had such a surplus amount of money like it does not take a long time to plant them all and then harvesting them all i'm happy to do that it's going to give us that much money okay but it looks like we're guaranteed four every single time doesn't look like i'm going to get more than four doesn't look like we're going to get any less and then money we get just below one silver which isn't great but i definitely want to increase all of this I think there's just so much to do, um, which is kind of an issue. But let's go get this zombie, and as soon as we get the zombie, we can get him to like mine stone or even like iron, or even in that cave that we can't get to because we need someone that doesn't have a brain. And that would be great because we can teleport to the quarry with our teleportation stone, and if we can just teleport, then life would be 10 times easier, right? So we cannot complain about that. Am I in the right place? I've already forgot. I am, okay. So he said I need to re uh, repair this one first, so that's great. Good thing I remembered to craft the iron parts, because I definitely would have forgot. And now we can do this one. I just start looking for that zombie. What? Okay, we don't need anything. Please? A zombie? Is that a zombie? That definitely looks like a zombie. Why can't I get to him? Okay, we've clear it a little bit more. Uh, you've unlocked new technology. Create. Start building sawmill. Okay. Okay, what do I do then? I think I just take him to the quarry, right? Okay, now that's me. And the quarry's quite far, though. Am I going to have to run all the way there? Where am I? I'm at the church, so I'd be about... I'm here. So the quarry, I'd have to go up, left. Okay, let's take him over there and see if I can, actually. Because they also don't need to give him tools, right? So I'd have to maybe give him my pickaxe or give him a different pickaxe. I could give him the old pickaxe, but I don't know if I'd want to do that. Uh, what's this? I wonder how many logs I could chop from this big tree. If only I never, if only I never got tired and I was super strong. Oh, that's, that's you, right? You're, you're tired and you never get tired. E. Yeah, big tree sawmill. Hey, but how do I craft it though? Well, if I could get logs, would that be more useful than stone? I don't know. Zombie mining, zombie wood cutting. Okay, that's fine then. Um. So, I guess I'd take some blueprint, zombie or mine left. What does left mean? Start building sawmill. Hmm. Okay, let's get this one. This one's cheaper. And then let's go take him over to the mines and see if he can work. Okay, so we're at the quarry. Now that's our little house. What can we build here? Okay, so we need to build this. So we'll need a pickaxe. And some flitch. And then we have the right one. I think left 
it's pretty better, right? I shouldn't be right one is pretty better. But we haven't unlocked right. This one only on the left. So unless there's another one. Zombie stone quarry right. Yes, yeah, so we haven't unlocked the right side. We probably could. We'd have to get this. It's, you know, it's expensive. Um, okay, so yeah, let's just build the left one and then go from there. Let's see what we need. So we're going to need some flitch and an iron pickaxe. So we'll just a pickaxe. It's going to be so nice as well because we can just teleport between homes. We don't, no longer have to do that run. Which, you know, the run isn't the worst thing in the world, but, you know, I definitely don't want to do it. So I need flitch and a pickaxe. Okay, so coal has a decent ratio. Considering how, like, easy it was to get, like, 10 coal for, like, more fire, uh, more fuel than firewood is such an easy comparison because... Um, why is it? Because it's such... All you have to do is just go over there. You could easily just mine your whole energy bar and get like over like 200, I think. I think that like you get 20 every time you break it. So you could probably, yeah, get over 200 easily. And we don't have any sticks. Let's see if we can find any bushes to just shake down. So there's zombie or mine on the left. Okay, okay that, that's, that's not the left side, but I assume left was over here, then right would be over here. But maybe right is now over, I don't know. But that's fine. Um, I wouldn't actually mind unlocking this place. Oh, wait, do I just... Okay. Now what? Is he hard at work? Hey. Okay. okay. So, does his pickaxe run out? What does he give? It looks like he's just going to give us a copper bar. Um, which is quite a big chunk, which is great. Obviously, we can just pick that up. Would we have to carry it all the way home, though? Could, like, would you be able to teleport if you had something on you? If he doesn't eat, you know, he doesn't need his pickaxe upgrading, doesn't need to repair his pickaxe, then he... We can just leave him there and just get him to work, right? So we don't have to worry about him. Um, I know you can get this iron pile, maybe get in the stone cutter as well, which would be quite nice. Because if we can just, uh, you know, just craft this and then cut it whilst we're here, and then we don't have to worry about teleporting it all the way back home. And you, yeah, okay, so you can. So we can just, so one bar is only five ore, which is actually pretty bad. I think I'd rather him farm stone than copper because copper is so easy to get you get so much and yeah it takes forever to smell anyway but i don't know if like if he goes here i don't know if the bar would also go here if the bar just goes here and slowly stacks up but we'll see how it works over time and um, that is going to be it for today's episode so it dragged on for so long there's so much to do and i wanted to get the zombie at the end we then end taking a little bit longer than i thought but you know we got him and hopefully he's going to be quite useful Thank you guys for watching, please remember to subscribe as the series is uploaded every single day. So with a notification, with a subscription, you'll get notified when that next episode comes out tomorrow. But thank you and goodbye.